I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the president of fame, Mr. Bill Griffey. Hi, Bill. How are you doing? A man I've worked with on two film projects. Bill, your background in the industry spans many years and includes numerous film projects as a producer and a director, as well as an extensive background as an executive in various film and television companies. Billy, what makes this partnership so special? In 1973, the 007 producers had a new James Bond on their hands, and they wanted their new spy to have more of everything. Roger Moore is James Bond, 007. In, in Live and Let Die, 007 travels from the streets of New York to the swamps of Louisiana, battling crazed drug smugglers in killer boats, corrupt Caribbean cops on killer bikes, and killer critters, the nastiest snakes, sharks, and gators to shake and stir a dry martini. Somebody had to organize all this controlled chaos, so the producers came to Florida and hired themselves an expert. You know, I would say 75% of the stuff, you know, stuff that I worked on. Producer-director Bill Griffey made just about every hit drive-in movie to come from Florida, and most of them with action and animals. Stanley, live snakes, Mako, Jaws of Death, Live Sharks, Death Curse of Tartu, Snakes, Sharks, and Gators. <laughs> I guess they, they think I'm an animal trainer. In Live and Let Die, Griffey was second unit director. While the first unit shot the sequences involving Roger Moore and the additional principal cast, Griffey's unit staged some of the incredible action set pieces. So it has to all be coordinated and has to be, uh, it's all going to edit together properly. Griffey flew from Fort Lauderdale to London. A series of conferences were set up at the massive Pinewood Studios 007 stage with first unit director Guy Hamilton. You know, he is working like with the Roger Moore on the scenes and a lot of times there'll be cutaways of Moore in the boat or whatever and then your stuff is with a stand-in or a stuntman or whatever. In one sequence, 007 has to escape from a gator farm, a hungry gator farm. It was where Roger Moore's like trapped and he's supposed to run across all of these alligators and they're snapping. Normally you work with alligators, crocodiles, where you'll take a thin piano wire and you'll wire their mouth shut. Ah, but these gators had to be seen actually snapping at the stuntman's heels. So the wire was out. One of the stuntmen got cut pretty bad on that. Gator cuts aside, Live and Let Die was a hit, but not without a little help from Florida. Steve Latshaw, 002 News. They have discovered Georgia as a colorful setting for filming outdoor epics, and Plains is not the only community that's changing. David Snell takes us behind the cameras and what they're discovering. Two fifteen. Action! The cameras are rolling, and onto the porch of a ramshackle cabin walks Richard Bowser Batterson. Get out, get out. Bowser's previous acting experience consists primarily of trying to convince revenuers he was not the moonshiner he was. Non-professionals like Batterson will be seen by theater goers around the country because filmmaker Bill Griffey has decided these North Georgia mountains are just the place to make his movie, Whiskey Mountain. In fact, Griffey wrote Whiskey Mountain, which includes motorcycling, fight scenes, and rape, with this area in mind. Its scenic beauty is great, and the cost of doing business here is significantly less than in Hollywood. Where they'll shoot with 60, 70 people, but we have about 25 people. And in this day of uh, inflation and rough money times, uh, I mean, it really helps cut down the budget when everybody sort of doubles up and, and works hard. 38, take one. As the cameras continue to roll, as the explosion of movie making continues in Georgia, so too will criticism. Two, one. David Snell, ABC News, Raven County, Georgia. In case dynamite and blown up bridges aren't enough to put the local gentry on edge, correspondent Snell reports that there's also some concern about motorcycles concerned that the bikers will decide that those quiet North Georgian mountains are just the place for their... Whoops, there's a spin out on the wet track to the bridge. Holy mackerel, look at that car come apart. Yeah. <laughs> 
what about Cindy and, and Tommy and Joanne? They would not listen. Come on, baby, let's move it, move it!
body move? Oh, you moved. Hmm. Who do you think it is? I don't know. But I'll find out. Who is it? Open up. It's the hawk. You come blasting into my life. You want me to leave. He wants me to stay. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, my God. Roll up the window. Take a big piece out of you. Again, Mrs. Peterson. I don't want your sympathy. I want to help you, but I don't know how. Come on, get out of here. None of you people understand. You're going to the prom. We're going out in the bush. 